everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're new. My name is Ellie. I am a mum. <laughs> Sorry, I just got some looking at all this mess behind me. I am a mum of two boys and we are going on holiday tomorrow. We're going on quite a long holiday. We're going on a like we're going away for nine nights I think so I have really tried to plan out carefully what we are taking <sighs> sorry I took that off the tripod it felt like you were very high above me <laughs> I really tried to think it through carefully and every time we go away I'll get messages particularly on Instagram <clears throat> saying you know could you show us what you pack could you do a pack with me and i never do it <laughs> honestly i find packing quite stressful so the thought of like filming it and um having to consider that at the same time as thinking about what to pack just filled me with dread but do you know what no i'm gonna do it i'm gonna film it and i'm gonna take you along with me to pack today the reason i feel much more relaxed about it this morning is i have an empty house i'm sat up here on the landing on my own and i have an empty house i very very rarely am by myself in this house if you're a long time subscriber you'll know why clint has taken the boys um to watch some some motorbike races <laughs> this afternoon their uncle is like heavily into that so they've gone all together to go and watch that all afternoon so i've got an empty house and i can just focus on packing so the first thing on my packing to-do list is already done i went to the shops this morning and i got bits that we needed from the shops there are certain like food bits that i just really wanted to bring because i know that they're not going to have them where we're going we're going to Mallorca, by the way in spain i mean i'm so sorry about this what is going on here this is standard, we're going on holiday tomorrow look. Bra on show, joggers, so pale, because I don't want a fake tan obviously until tonight. Any pale, fellow pale skin girls will know that you have to fake tan before a holiday, but I'm, you know, rubbed myself raw, ready to do it tonight. I just look um, horrendous, so I'm so sorry about that. There are certain things like Cooper's porridge, that I just know we're not gonna get out there. So yeah, I got some porridge for Coops. I got him like the little snacks that I know that he loves so I could just have it in my handbag. Like my vanilla lattes because they're not gonna have those out there. And then I wanted to get some medicine, cowpole, just in case. Nappy rash cream because Coopy has a really sore bum at the moment paracetamol and ibuprofen because hay fever tablets you never know how it's going to be in another country mine has been playing up a little bit recently but sometimes in another country like you don't get it at all but i didn't want to take the risk so got my hay fever tablets i also got some infected eye drops i'm just a little bit crazy i suppose but i just thought what if they get conjunctivitis when we're out there I'll get some eye drops. I don't know, I worry about myself sometimes. And some new toothpaste for Leo as well. So I needed to get, yeah, medicinal and food bits this morning. That was my first packing job and that's done. My second packing job is to actually pack, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently to how I normally might, so I'm excited to share it with you. I'm going to pack outfits. So I'm going to pack the clothes for the boys together as outfits. I've seen someone do it. Who was it? I saw it on Instagram, someone doing it, and I just thought that is absolutely genius. Why, why have I never thought of that? So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna pack the boys all up first. Once they're done, I'll have a think about myself. Obviously I don't pack for Clint, he's a 36 year old man who could be very capable of packing for himself. So yeah, first things first, I'm going to lay out all the outfits for the boys for the evening. Daytime, I'm not really asked because they'll just live in their swimming costumes, to be honest. But yeah, evenings, I'm going to lay out all the outfits. If I don't have nine, <laughs> I'm not taking nine fresh outfits. It's because where we're going to, yeah, where we're going to is um, a family home. So there's a washing machine there and everything you need, really. So I'm only really going to take like a handful of outfits because I will do a wash midweek. But yeah, come on. Let's go. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, 
raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich Okay, so here's what I meant about putting the outfits all together. This actually isn't all of them. I've just realised that two sets of matching outfits for the boys are still wet on the drying rack downstairs. So I won't be able to add those till the morning, which is a bit annoying, but we move, it's fine. So I just thought I'd show you what I mean. So I've put all the outfits together so that when I unpack, when we get there, I can unpack them together and I don't have to spend my evenings putting things together because all the outfits are already done. So I literally just pop the shorts on top of the t-shirt and I'm just going to put them together and there you go there's my first outfit first one to pop in the suitcase there we go let's keep going oh girl, daydream looking at me take me back all the way back to the together outfits for for evenings or if we were to go on like a nice day out or something as I said there's a couple more on the drying rack so that will be more than enough especially as we've got a washing machine what I've got now is I've got two little piles one pile for Leo one pile for Cooper of just um like random daytime daytime bits that we might need so what they are mainly is vests like i love the boys in a vest in the summer so we have just got tons and tons of h&m vests because to be honest in the day all they really wear is like their swim shorts and and a vest because for obvious reasons so i'm just going to roll up all of their daytime bits and pieces and just add that on top these nicely folded, <laughs> nicely folded outfits. Running around in a gown and a crown, barefoot. stuff now all of their swimsuits and then I'm gonna add in pajamas so swimsuits and pajamas coming next
Okay, as for the boys' pants and socks, obviously Cooper doesn't wear pants because <laughs> he's like 16 months old, but pants and socks, I'm going to pop them in this handy little zip book here. So I'm just gonna put all of the pants and socks for the boys in there. And then I find when I'm away, I like to put the dirty underwear back in the like netted pocket so you know what's dirty. Um, although, as I said, I'll probably be doing a wash while we're there anyway. But that's pants and socks. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is the boys' shoes. So they've both got beach shoes, matching, obviously. Look at these, I mean, could they be any cuter? <laughs> Unreal. I know I'm addicted to the matching, but I reckon I've only got like another year of Leo letting me put them in any matching stuff, so I just make the most of it. They've also got their little sunglasses. These are called Babyators. They are so, so, here you go, Babyators. These were kindly sent to us, and they are great because they go from tiny baby to kids, so that's Cooper's little ones and Leo's bigger ones. So I'm gonna pop their sunglasses inside their beach shoes actually, so I know where they are. Then I need sun hats, so I've got Leo's sun hat there and Cooper's. I never know how to pack these because I worry it's gonna get like crushed and misshapen with it. I never know whether I should like stuff it, <laughs> stuff it with socks or something to try and to try and keep it shape. I might try that, you know. I'll get some socks out of here and stuff it. Otherwise they get so crushed. Yeah, look, that will save it, won't it? Woo! I'm also gonna put all of the food stuff in the hold all, obviously, so we don't have to take that in the cabin with us. Snacks my coffee and Cooper's bottles as well. Okay, so that's all in. The next thing I'm gonna put in is liquids. So by liquids, I mean my makeup, my makeup bag. This makeup bag is great. I can't remember what these are called. The Flat Lay Company. Like, as you can see, it goes totally flat and opens up and then you put everything inside. But I've got just a ton of liquids in here, so Obviously, I'm gonna put these in hold. So I'm gonna pop my liquids and my makeup in there. Also got Mummy's Fake Tan, absolute necessity. This one, I'm just gonna decanter because it's absolutely huge. This is what I use to sort of put back my baby hairs when I've got like a slick bun. But you need so little of it that there's literally no, no point <laughs> taking this very heavy large pot so I'm just gonna literally decanter a little bit into that pot there we go that will do me fine I'm just gonna get some tissue and wipe that down that in there also the medicine I think I'll put in this little zip pocket as well just so it's not thrashing about everywhere it's got the kids careful and the hay fever and the toothpaste and bun cream and paracetamol and all of that. I'm gonna zip that into there. Right, I'm actually gonna stop and have <clears throat> some lunch now because I've just realized it's one o'clock and I'm absolutely ravenous. So the kids are like basically done and I just have myself to pack for really and then um, whatever I'm gonna need for the airplane. But I'm just going over my list. <laughs> so every time I pack, I will make a list on the notes on my phone of like the non-obvious stuff that I'm worried I'll forget and then I'll just tick it off as I go. So most of it, as you can see, is ticked. I'm just gonna see what's left. So I've looked at this and then remembered that I need to pack my Mac and my work stuff um, in case there's any work that I need to do when I'm there. I also want the Mac out there um, 
so Cooper can watch his like cartoons and stuff. Also just seen that I put on my emergency list a spare muzz. <laughs> you're gonna wonder what I'm talking about there if you're not a subscriber, but Cooper's absolute favorite thing in the entire universe is his stinky muzzy as we call it, which is just a muslin cloth that he has had since he was born and is physically attached to at all times. And my biggest nightmare is losing it. I actually lost it in the airport on our last holiday. Um, I found it, thank God, but it was frightening. <laughs> Phone chargers, yeah, I'm so glad I make lists like this because I just know I'm not gonna forget anything. But honestly, I need to stop for a minute because I am gonna end up eating Cooper's snacks in a minute if I don't stop and have some lunch, so take five. Okay guys, I have pretty much packed for me. I didn't film it because I just didn't think it was that interesting. <laughs> Plus I was being really decisive, choosing what dresses to bring and stuff. But anyway, I've done me <clears throat> on some of my stuff has gone in the hold all, like my shoes and things, because I didn't think they'd fit in, but you know, they actually probably will, so I might switch those back, because I'm worried this is getting a little bit heavy. I will try and weigh it in a moment, but I'm pretty sure the suitcases are done, apart from things that can't be packed till tomorrow, like phone chargers and toothbrushes and things like that. My focus now is the airplane bags. So I always take my beach bag as my airplane handbag, if that makes sense, because then you don't have to pack your beach bag because you've got it on the bag, got it on the plane with you. So there's my beach bag. Sort that out in a minute. Here's Leo's airplane bag. I'll just show you what I've put in here for him. But here's everything that's gonna go inside of his bag. I love to get Leo little surprises when we go on a plane. I just, I remember getting little surprises when you go on an airplane and they get so excited and it's so nice to see him looking in the bag and getting all excited about it and he knows we're going to go away. So I've got him just a couple of bits and bobs to surprise him with tomorrow. I've got him, he loves Dobble, absolutely loves it. We have the original and we play it a lot. And then one of my followers on Instagram told me that Dobble have a Marvel edition and I haven't opened it up yet. Let me just have a look. Oh my god, he's going to love this. If you know Dobble, it's such a must-have card game to put in your handbag when you go to restaurants and stuff and it comes in this handy little tin. But it takes like 5 minutes to play. The kids love it. It's just a great way to keep them busy. Basically, you have to you have a card and then there's a pile in the middle. You each have a card and you have to find your matching symbol which is Doctor Strange on that one. Oh my God, he's gonna love these symbols so much. So that was a little surprise for his airplane bag, that in there. I also got him a new water bottle. He's loving Baby Yoda at the moment. He has a plushy Baby Yoda that will be coming on holiday with us apparently. <laughs> so I thought I'd get him a new water bottle. Obviously you need a water bottle when you're going on a hot holiday. And I saw this Baby Yoda one on Amazon so he will love that. I got him some colouring books. I got him a Jurassic World colouring book because he is really into Jurassic World at the moment. He'll love that again. That was just from Amazon. I got him a huge Pokemon colouring book. I think it's literally got every single Pokemon ever in here. So that should keep him pretty busy. I also got him this, which is called Where At Where's Ash. We have Where's Pikachu. It's basically Where's Wally, but you have to find the character. We have the Where's Pikachu one, where you have to find Pikachu on every page, but he knows it off by heart now. <laughs> and then I saw there was this version as well, which I thought would be a nice surprise for the holiday. So I got him those books to go in there and then a new pack of felt tips as well. These are so good because they come in this little case so they're all packed away neatly in his bag. Okay, and I'll just show you what I've got in my little airplane handbag as well. So I've got a handful of nappies. I've just grabbed five, which will be more than enough for the plane journey. We always just buy a whole, the first thing we do when we get on holiday is go to the huge supermarket and do a shop. So we'll buy a huge pack of nappies. So I don't need to pack many, just enough for the plane. I have got nappy bags and some wipes. I keep my wipes in this sealable, shuttable case because it will stop sand getting into them. These, have, these were great on the, our last holiday. So I've got the bags and the wipes. Then I've got Cooper's snacks. This bag was gifted to me from Babble Bespoke on Instagram. She's so sweet and she sent me this along with a few other things. And it's just got lots of snacks in here because as you know, 
Snacks are the way to a toddler's heart. Cooper's water bottle as well. Obviously you can't put water in until you're through security. My purse, not very exciting, but there you go. You need it. And then some toys for Coops as well. These are pretty much all the same toys that we took on the last holiday bar a few. These are great because these will suction to the airplane tray or to the window and they can spin them round. He absolutely loves these. We've got a few of them but I just grabbed one and a pop it because he loves that. This is his new little fidget toy as well which is quite cool. Some little dinosaur figures, another little spinner, just things that I can grab on the plane or in a restaurant you know just just when you need them i'm still not finished i don't think you're ever really finished until you literally walk out the door because there's certain things that you can't pack until the morning do you know what i mean and there's still things like drying on the drying rack um yeah i'm as finished as i can be today basically the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the airport outfits for me and the boys. That's the last thing I'll do. Just so I don't need to think about it in the morning. I'll just lay them out in their bedrooms, ready for them to put on when we leave. But other than that, I think I'm done. I'm going to weigh the suitcase. Otherwise, I'll be panicking <laughs> that it will go over and Clint will be like, oh my gosh. But I'm going to move some stuff into my suitcase as well, just to try and even out the weight a little bit. But yeah, there you go. There was my pack with me for our lovely long week, well, over a week holiday that we will be going on tomorrow. Because we're going to be on holiday for over a week, my uploads might see a little dip. I'm definitely going to miss one day. I can't work out what day it will be, but there is going to be one day that... um yeah i'm just not going to be able to get something up for thank you so much for watching guys i am gonna go and write another list make sure i haven't forgotten anything <laughs> obviously passports you haven't seen me put the passports in the bag but they are on the side in the kitchen with the keys to the apartment like don't worry i haven't forgot my passport <laughs> well, guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video